Radhe Radhe everyone welcome back to our channel learn with gigs in this video i will discuss with you two practical ways of getting an interview call for the data analyst or power bi developer roles this video will be very very useful for you all so stay tuned till the end and listen everything very carefully this video will actually help you to make your job search journey smooth and get the most out of it so let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video it really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you are new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs all right you see i have already opened my linkedin profile so the only prerequisite is that you should have a complete linkedin profile before moving to the first practical way let me tell you one more thing so many of you would have seen some reels or short videos where they tell you to basically play with the url of the linkedin okay so if you see i have a specific url right so they will say you that go to the job section and then play around with the url of the linkedin where you have to modify some particular part of that url and then you will be able to see most relevant jobs for you maybe uh, 10 minutes back or 1 hour back or 2 hours back because usually you have a filter of last 24 hours right but they tell you according to those reels you can see the jobs which are 2 hours or 3 hours back also posted and as a result you can apply fast but i won't recommend you to follow those steps why because if you will play around with the linkedin url it is quite likable that linkedin can basically suspend your account so conclusion is that don't play around with the linkedin url or don't try to integrate your linkedin url with some other third party websites i hope that point is clear to you everyone all right let's start with the first practical way so what you have to do come to your profile click on this search option and then search hiring data analyst you have to give this prompt once you write this just click on enter now you will see all the kind of things which is relatable to hiring a data analyst first of all the first step is go to the post section okay go to the post section and here you will find all the posts where different people or different recruiters or different talent acquisition specialist have posted about the data analyst kind of roles so here you have to scroll and see which are those genuine posts where you could apply so for example you see this is smriti sharma and she is hiring for data analyst with 3 plus years of experience and here she has also provided her email id so this post looks genuine so basically you if you have all these skills which is required you can actually send your profile to this email id and this is this is the kind of post genuine post that you have to look on you will find a lot of fake post okay lot of fake post on linkedin don't get trapped into those use some common sense and then figure out the genuine post where you will find email id or the recruiter will be genuine you can just by some common sense you can analyze whether that profile is genuine or not but suppose the mail id is not present then in that case what should be your approach if you have linkedin premium feature then obviously you don't have to connect with this person you can directly reach out and message this person but suppose as many of you or many of us don't have linkedin premium feature because we have to pay for it in that case how to get the email id so for this particular post you have the details let's scroll down and find few more okay so this is for jp morgan then if i scroll down so here this is mentioned location india standard chartered bank is looking for fresher analyst again nothing is given right in that case ignore now see again a good post from shilpa siloni so here this is for data analyst role at tcs tcs is a big multinational company so many of you would aspire to get recruited in this company now this person has not given any kind of details right doing the direct application won't help you okay it will your profile your resume will be lost and this is another kind of post that you will find where you will not find the email ids genuine email ids of the recruiter in that case go to the person's profile okay go to the person's profile come to the post section and then here you have to scroll down and see if she has given her email id in some post or not it is very likely that in some or the other post you will find the email id of this person means the email id of shilpa if you can find that then that will be the best way to reach out to her and apply for that data analyst vacancy so i will just scroll down and see if she has provided any kind of email id i'm still scrolling down and see yeah see here two months ago she posted something related to tcs and here you can see her tcs id is mentioned shilpa.kiloni.tcs.com so this is her email id so this is how you have to grab the email id of the recruiter and then you can send your updated resume to her and apply for that particular role in this way the chances of getting the interview call will be much much more than direct applying from here or either through any kind of link so i hope the step is clear to you 
नेक्स्ट प्रैक्टिकल वे इज टू गो टू द जॉब सेक्शन ओके लिंकड इन विल रिकमेंड यू ऑल द जॉब विच इज रिलेटेबल टू योर बैकग्राउंड सो द थिंग दैट यू टू कीप इन माइंड इज फॉर डिफरेंट वैकेंसीज यू विल फाइंड हेयर इजी अप्लाई ऑप्शन नेवर अप्लाई टू एनी वैकेंसी बाय क्लिकिंग ऑन दैट इजी अप्लाई इवन लिंकड इन इग्नोर दो काइंड ऑफ प्रोफाइल सो इन दैट केस इफ दैट इजी ऑप्शन इज नॉट देयर यू विल फाइंड दिस अप्लाई ऑप्शन बटन इफ यू क्लिक ऑन दिस यू विल फाइंड द जेन्यून वेबसाइट ऑफ दैट कंपनी थ्रू दिस लिंक सो यू हैव टू कम टू दिस थ्रू दिस लिंक साइन इन लाइक डू द साइन इन and then apply now and upload your resume and, and whatever details they require so this is one way but you might be thinking this is very common right everybody is actually doing this what is different what is the different thing that i am trying to tell over here the different thing that that i wanted to tell over here is you have to have two resumes for the same vacancy for example if this is your resume and if you have provided some kind of gmail id and phone number then use this particular resume to apply to apply on this website the second resume in the second resume what you have to do you have to change your mobile number as well as your gmail id email id and mobile number should be different in your second resume and what you have to do with that second resume let me tell you that so the motive behind is that for the same vacancy you should apply in two different ways one is through this website which is a which is a normal general application and the second one way is where you have already changed your mobile number and email id make sure that email id the new email id and the new mobile number that you are using in your second resume for the same vacancy should not be related in any form to that first mobile number and email id make sure you it should not be there in your recovery email address also so make sure both are individual distinct email ids and phone numbers and then take that second resume since you have already applied for that particular vacancy go again back to linkedin and then for the same vacancy go to the company's page go to people working in that company and here you will find if you will scroll down you will find these many people working in that particular company now you have to connect to at least 15 people working in this company and then suppose out of 15 people five people accepted your connection request now you have to do what you have to do is you have to send them a referral request for the same vacancy now many of you might be thinking what is the referral template that we should follow to reach out to people if this is the case in that case i have created a notepad where you will find this particular job referral template maybe you can take a snip of it or maybe you can note it down this is what you have to go for where you have to give a subject a referral request for data analyst role at your company at the company name hello name of that person hope you are doing well i have been following your work at that particular company for a while now and appreciate your achievements my name is this i am skilled in advanced excel sql power bi python whatever is your skills and i'm looking to search for better career opportunities i came across the data analyst position at your company job id and i am very much interested in applying here is the link to that job posting so you have to give her or that person the job id and the posting job posting url complete details should be given and then given your experience at that company i would request and grateful to you if you could refer me for this position please find my resume attached thank you for considering my request and the resume that you have to attach over here is the second resume where you have actually changed your mobile number and email id so in this way basically you are applying for the same vacancy in two ways what mistake 99% people do is that they will just apply through this way and then they will reach out to different people ask them for referral for the same vacancy and once that person provides the referral it throws the error that you have already applied because you have used the same email id and phone number so your entry is already there so it will be a duplicates and it won't allow that person to provide you that referral so overall i would say don't apply to 10 20 or 30 plus companies in a single day even if you are applying for 3 to 4 or 4 to 5 companies on a single day but using this practical two ways which i am telling to you then that will give you the better result than applying randomly in different companies this kind of tips and strategies you will not find anywhere else on youtube please do leave a comment if you found this video useful and stay tuned for the upcoming videos